Hype founder Bang Sai Hyuk reportedly directly involved in orders for controversial internal documents. It has been confirmed that Hype chairman Bang Sai Hyuk was involved in the process of sharing the controversial Hype internal report within the company. Although Hype CEO Lee Jae Sang officially apologized, acknowledging his responsibility for the creation and internal sharing of the report, the fallout is expected to continue. On October 29th, Ilgan Sports uncovered that Bang Sai Hyuk was directly involved in the process of sending the document to the top executives, including sea level leaders at Hype and its subsidiary labels. It has been revealed that Bang Sai Hyuk instructed the inclusion of a newly appointed executive as a recipient of the document. Although it has not been confirmed whether Bang Sai Hyuk initially ordered the report's creation, his allowance of the circulation of such a provocative and impersonal document among senior executives raises questions about his responsibility in the matter. Critics point out that while the CEO has taken responsibility with a public apology, the real issue lies with Bang Sai Hyuk, who is positioned above the C level executives and appears to be hiding behind his subordinates. Ilgan Sports reached out to Hype's PR team for an official statement, but did not receive a response. On the same day, Hype CEO Lee Jae Sang posted an apology on the company's official website, stating, I fully acknowledge the mistakes made in including provocative and harsh expressions about K pop artists, adding personal views and evaluations and leaving such content in an official document. I accept full responsibility on behalf of the company. He acknowledged the inappropriateness of the document and apologized. Hype also announced the dismissal of Kang, the individual responsible for compiling the weekly music industry report, containing the provocative content, and confirmed the discontinuation of the report. However, with the revelation of Bang Sai Hyuk's involvement in the sharing process, critics have suggested this might be a case of scapegoating. The internal report in question was sent weekly to C-level executives at Hype and its subsidiary labels. The controversy erupted when part of the report was revealed during a parliamentary inspection by Democratic Party lawmaker Minit Young BAE on October 24. The report included harsh critiques of idols' appearances, such as, they debuted while still in their ugly phase, so none of them have idol-like features, and their plastic surgery is too obvious and other members are shockingly unattractive. The content caused widespread shock. Hype responded by explaining, the monitoring report disclosed during the parliamentary session is a document that compiles various reactions and opinions from fandoms and the industry. It was shared internally with a small number of staff for reference and does not reflect Hype's stance. 